Hey, what's up, gentlemen? It's Mike, and got a special show for you here today. We just got the FN303 back from the mad scientist uh, Bryce Larson and also the other mad scientist uh, Gordon Hoonley from the uh, Punk Works who got into the FN303 and modified it for paintball. So um, there's quite a bit, quite a few modifications that they had to make to the inside of this. And um, what we'll do is uh, if you go to FN303paintball.com, uh, it's a URL that I have for their service where they, uh, they'll show you basically what they did to get in here and make it safe for paintball. But uh, hopefully you can see inside here, uh, these are just basic uh, Tiberius Arms first strike rounds which fit perfectly inside of the magazine. So what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and load this up. And then what we do here is I've got my chronograph here. And let me make sure this is on and it is. So what we're going to do here is we're going to shoot a couple over the chronograph which, uh, let's see if we can do this with you seeing it here. So uh, we'll shoot a couple over the chronograph here. Hopefully you can see that. That is sitting at 289, 276, 273, 270, 262, 271, 273, 270, 283, 280, 273, 284, 276, 272, 278. Now hopefully, can you see that on there? Okay, you can, okay, cool. Okay, so that was it for um, those. And I know a lot of people are gonna have like a major uproar about, you know, this thing, but as you saw, this thing shoots first strike rounds and it's got the full velocity adjustment right here through the back. Okay, so as you can see here, um, this is just basically just like an automatic. You got a tournament lock here, so you can adjust this forward or back. Um, you tighten it, and the velocity goes up. You back it out, the velocity goes down, just like an automag. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll put this back together again. And uh, we'll load up one more magazine here. All right, so we're ready to go. And I'll just shoot another one here. Okay, 276, and I've been, I think we've shot about 100 rounds out of this, and I mean, we haven't had any jams, any misfires, no problems with this whatsoever. Um, I mean, it shot really, really well, so what we'll do is, um, here, we'll, we'll point it over here at the water, and just kind of shoot over my shoulder here. I'll just um, pull the trigger kind of fast and shoot it into the water here. So, there you go. Uh, so definitely go and check out fn303paintball.com. Uh, um, and uh, if you have an FN 303 and you would like yours to be modified to be safe for paintball, uh, you get in touch with uh, Bryce Larson. He charges a fee to go in there, crack the valve open, put in the volume spacers, and uh, you have full velocity adjustment. I believe I, we had this thing shooting from, uh, I believe down at the lower end was probably about 220 feet per second, and at the high end we had it shoot about 350 feet per second, just depending on how much I adjust. But I've been leaving it right at 280, and the gun's been shooting great. And, uh, we're going to be doing a lot more videos of these, especially leading up to Living Legends. Uh, I'll show you some ridiculous long-range shooting with this. I've got the uh, Tiberius Arms um, adjustable scope here. So as you can see, you dial this down, and the scope goes down, which raises it up. And the, uh, the long-range shooting that you get with this thing's out of control. I mean, it's well well over a football field and a half accurately so uh thanks for tuning in guys fn303paintball.com once again thanks again to uh bryce and uh gordon for uh modifying this fn303 man it's definitely one of my favorite toys right now <laughs> thank you